Hello everybody, Ian Rops here. Welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulators. This is 2018, so this is Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. So this is the newest rendition of the game. And they've made a couple good changes. Uh, initially there were a little bit of bugs they had to deal with, but um, since fixing some of the bugs, they have managed to uh, do some good work on here. So let's go ahead and move this. Uh, let's go move this to the hoist. There we go. And let's go check it out. So I believe this is job needs a couple of different things. Uh, let's see what the car status is here. So as you can see, they have a different. Uh, they've changed a little bit of the. Uh, they've changed a little bit of the way the car work or the way the HUD works at least. It's not quite as not the quite the same way, but it's similar at least. So, so we need to change brakes in this one. Okay, cool. Now I just need to find out which brakes uh, we actually need. Let's see if we can see car status mode. Uh, overview mode, I think that's what I'm looking for. Ah, so they're on this side. Okay, so at least some of them are on this side. Alright, so let's go ahead and lift the car up here a little bit. There we go. It's kind of like an older SUV here. Uh, let's go to... Uh, where was it here? Assembly mode? No. Nope. I guess we're already in disassemble mode then. It's funny. I still haven't gotten used to. Uh, <laughs> I still haven't got used to some of the way the way some of the things work. There we go. Let me turn this down a little bit. It seems a bit loud. I still haven't gotten used to the way some of the thing works. Actually, it's kind of bizarre because like you get used to. Um, I got so used to uh, using one button to do uh, certain things, and now I, I constantly find myself. Uh, Doing it as if it were in twenty uh, <laughs> in the older version of the game, so uh, it's kind of make, it makes me laugh a little bit. So let's see, car, salmon tools, no. So brake pads, brake caliper, caliper pads. So oh, so no discs. Oh, okay, let's go back to assemble mode then. Parts mount. Uh, so didn't need the actual disc uh, installed there. Uh, let's go for this one, I believe. There we go. And brake pads. Let's put the new pads on. I'm sure we have a set. Yes, we do. And then caliper. Do I have a new caliper? Yes. 61%. What we could try is, uh, let's see what the car status is. What does it need to be uh, global body condition 62? So we, let's see if we can repair this. Uh, I always forget which bench it is. Is it this one over here? It's funny when you. <laughs> I got so used to playing the other the other game, 2015, that I, I always. Oh yes, I guess this is my own garage. It's funny, in the in the actual garage, um, in the tri in the demo or the tutorial, they show you how to do certain thing. So I'm like, okay, well, let's just do this then. I, I don't think I have the same uh, capabilities here, so. They have the same sort of uh, structure where you can level up, as you can see here, and you can level up various things. So I think this is the first stage of I need more space, and then I think there's uh, some upgrades. So this includes adds path test and repair table to your garage. So I don't have the repair, the repair table yet. That's the reason why I was like, hmm, what am I missing here? There we go. Let's go ahead and add this brake caliper. Are you sure you want to install a brake caliper cylinder? Yes, please. There we go. Let's put the bolts back on there. And let's check the car status real quick here. So that's the caliper. I guess the pads didn't need to be changed in that one, so. Let's go ahead and put the tire on here. There we go. Gotta make sure to do it opposite. And let's exit that. Go back into the overview mo mood. Where is it here? So we can see where the other problem is. It looks like it's in the back, actually. Let's go ahead over here then. And. Nope. Yeah, this is the tire we want right here, as you can see here. Okay, let's go ahead and take the tire off then. Uh, inventory, parts, note, table, overview. 
move card. So this is kind of a weird thing. I, uh, this is what I get. I'm, I get confused about. Uh, so I don't want the assembly mode. I want the normal mode. So as you can see, we have tons of parts here. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. And I'm so used to the old style, so I constantly want to do that. There we go. Take that tire off there. Oh yeah, that looks rough. Now I believe we can go to examine mode, like so, and you can see these are the two things that need to be replaced right here. So let's go back into parts unmount. Let's take off the caliper here. There we go. Take the pad off as well, and then go into mount mode, and then put the pads back on here. And put a new caliper on as well because we can't uh, repair anything yet. Yes. Put a couple bolts back on here. There we go. Nice. Tire. Bam. So when you're putting tires on, for real life knowledge, always try and go diagonal. It helps to. Uh, it helps to. Um, it helps. To even the keep make sure the tires evenly put on in terms of pressure and whatnot. All right, let's go here. Let's check out the overview mode real quick. Uh, car status, examine mode. Looks like it's the calipers on this side. Okay. And one of the nice, neat things about this game is the way they change the the way they change the actual. Uh, the way they change the way you get the call. So now instead of having to like, instead of having to like constantly go and get rid of your calls and be like, oh, I don't want this car, I don't want this order, this whatever, you can now. The way it does it works is it just does timed uh, scenarios. So you just kind of you just automatically they automatically disappear over time if you don't pick them up, which is kind of nice. Okay, put the tire back on. There we go. In this game, I don't think it makes a difference which way you do put the tires back on, but in real life, the way I just put the tires back on is the way you're supposed to do it. All right, check the car status here. All right, that's everything fixed. Nice. Little brake job there. More money. Indeed, more money. So yeah, like I said, here's the cars, the jobs here, and they just kind of time out. So as you can see, these ones are just timing out. So I have the Royal Crown here. That one isn't a time job, apparently. I apparently have no choice, apparently. Uh, but these other ones, the sloppy car steering, and then you have the maiden here, so they will time out as that one just did. So I guess this is the job I need to uh, to take for whatever reason. So let's go ahead and take that job and see what it's like. See how much work needs to be done here. All right, so we're in the test track here right now, and uh, we hear this royal crown that we picked up. And we're just testing to see what the problem is with this car. To see if we can figure it out at least. There we go, make that turn there. There we go. Let's see what if we can't find out here. Suspension test. There we go, we gotta go this way now. Test now. Oops. It's funny you cycle through a couple different, a uh, couple different screenshot or I don't know camera angles there. All right, here's the brake test here. Apparently that car didn't have quite as much braking power as I anticipated. Also, they fixed the loading screens a little bit. They're not not, not as long as they used to be, which is nice. So they're still like, yeah, they're there, but they're not as as long as they used to be. So like before, it was just like you waited forever, it felt like, before something actually happened. So now it's not so bad. It's still there, as you can see, but it's not terrible. All right, let's see what the word is on the test track now. We can't do the path test because we don't have that unlocked yet. But 
Everything seems good there. Okay, close. Let's check out the car status once again. Does it say anything? No, so this is in timing. So I guess we have to take the whole engine apart, or a good chunk of the engine. I'm guessing, at least. Change oil, drain and refill. Okay. There's lots of parts in here that need to be discovered yet. All right, let's see if we can't... Uh, I don't know if we can take it to the other places yet. So we went to the test track. So we have the junkyard option here as well. Abandoned airport. I have no idea what that is yet. Car salon, car auctions. So the one thing we're missing is the path test, uh, which we can't do quite yet. So let's go ahead and move this to our lifter here and see what's up. Let's go ahead and pop the hood here. In terms of timing, ah, look at that, that was not good. Uh, ignition coil, so let's go ahead. I don't have the proper examining tools, of course. But uh, if I take the ignition coil out, 32%. All three of these, all four of these ignition coils look bad. All right. And if we go to car status now, I'm sure we'll find four ignition coils now. Yeah. And uh, let's see, can we examine? Let's see, examine. Can we examine the spark plugs here? I don't know if you can or not. Let's see here. No. Didn't think so. There we go. No, I want this. It's not what I wanted. I want to take off the spark plug and see if that is 90%. Could that be causing any issues here? Nope. In this case, it's kind of a, a bit of a visual inspection you can do here. Because right away you're able to see that the ignition coils were a problem here. You can see there's a turbocharger. Oh, there are turbos in here now? I don't remember seeing turbos before. Okay. It's crazy how you can just kind of like go look around the engine like this without a problem. I don't know where the other pieces will be. I'm guessing they're probably... Uh, oh. I'm guessing they're over here somewhere if it's a timing issue, so... I don't know if it's worth taking all this apart, no. The problem is I don't have any examining tools yet, so... I could take it all apart and find out and not find the right part, so that would be the problem I'd run into, so... Well, I guess we'll take off the header here and see what happens. Maybe we'll see some visual issues here. Ah, yes. Alright, let's go back into the examine mode here. Yep. Camshaft and camshaft. If I had to guess. Those need to be replaced when we find two more parts. So in order to remove the camshaft, we need to remove quite a few things. All right. What am I missing here? What do I need to take off? All this over here. All right, let's take the belts off then. Let's go ahead and take this belt here. And I think we can take that belt. It's not quite yet. Take the tensioner off. Take the belt off. Water pump. Crankshaft pulley, apparently. <laughs> the roller. It's funny how you... You can actually learn about cars. They actually did a pretty good job. So, like, it's not like a perfect system, but it's pretty good, actually. So it gives you a pretty good idea of what it's going to be like. Now, can I take these off without... Nope. I need the timing chain, I guess, too. Or belt. Camshaft gear. And I suppose those were the other two parts, weren't they? Yep. Camshaft, camshaft gear. Okay. And let's go ahead and take these camshafts out now. One. Two. Alright, now... They do have the tablet in here, but I don't have the tablet yet, of course. So I need to go to my trusty, rusty computer here and pick up some parts. So main shop, and we need 
Let's see what happens when I come up with a cam. Uh, so we need a camshaft. We need two of these. I like how they actually included the uh, how many you need as well now. And oh geez, what kind of what kind of cam do we need now? Cam gear, I mean. Inventory. Uh, type here. Let's see. It is the just a cam gear. Okay. I wasn't sure if it was a specific cam gear. So we need two of these. There we go. Excellent. And once you're able to repair stuff, it's not so bad. So let's go in here. I'm going to go to the mount mode. Put those two camshafts back in. One, two. Let's put the cam gears back on. So they weren't fancy cam gears. One, two. And then we can put the pulley back on now here too. Oh, I think the one thing I'm not sure about, this needed like 100%, didn't it? 95 ignition coils. Let's grab some ignition coils before I forget about it here. But this is kind of an interesting game though, because um, you do get to learn about cars a little bit, so I need four of these. You do get to learn about cars a little bit, so it's kind of an interesting little, uh, interesting little way of kind of learning about cars without getting too dirty, but of course the best way to learn about how to fix cars is to uh, to fix a car yourself, right? Um, up mode, there we go. There we go. Oh, there's two down there, missing, there we go. Excellent, so let's put the uh, water pump in here. There we go. And then camshaft. Excellent. Pulley. And missing the belt. And tensioner. And then the other belt here. It's funny. The way you see it in here, the, the way they do things, it makes it look so, so easy. All right, let's put the header back on here. There we go. It's funny, it says we need to have a higher level of uh, of conditions on these parts, but we'll see what happens here. I don't know if that's a bonus or not. Let's put that spark plug back in there. There we go. Ignition coil, so let's put the new ones back in here. And this one. And this one. Alright, now let's see what the car status is like. Didn't get any tooling, tuning value, but that's okay. Current color, good. And change in oil. Alright, so we've not done that yet. Alright, so let's go ahead and lift this up here. Now, do I have that thing here? Yes, here it is. Now, I guess, please place equipment back. I don't have all the options yet, so I'm going to go higher than this. Maybe that'll give me the option now. All right. Move equipment. Yeah, there you go. So just because it wasn't there. So where's our oil? We don't need to... Uh, let's get that drain plug there. I should be able to hit... Maybe we can't just hit that, really? Kind of surprised, but okay. And so that was an what kind of oil filter was that? I guess it was an I4. Okay. Still, I'm not sure why I can't just hit that uh, the plug. It's normally in real life you can just turn that. Maybe it's because I'm in. Maybe that'll help. Nope. I can't choose the plug right there. Don't know why. But it is right there. I could take off the pan itself, I suppose, but it's not exactly what I want to do. Uh, let's see here. Let me get this sorted here. Oh, apparently I need to 
once it's placed down there, all you need to do is say use equipment. Okay, that, that, that was the reason why. See? It's already been drained, mind you, but it just seems like enough. I guess that's one way to do it. Uh, there we go. So that's the equipment placed back. Let's grab it another uh, fresh oil filter for these people. And then we just put a little bit of oil, and then we're good to go, basically. So this was a, uh, let's see, oil filter. I think it was an I-4. There we go. So let's put the new oil filter in. Because if you change your oil and don't change the oil filter, I think it's kind of, uh, last time I checked, it's kind of pointless. Uh, where is it here? There we are. At least last time I checked. I'm not an expert here, but... There we go. That's that. Let's lower the car down here, put new oil in it. And then we're good to go. Alright. Let's put some more oil in there. Nice. I don't think it actually, uh... I don't think it makes a difference of how much you put in there. I don't know if it even... If I just stop now, it's probably fine. There we go. Check the status now. Sweet. All right, let's finish the car and see what happens. Oh, apparently that was quick. Made some money from that. Sweet. All right, folks, that's a little bit of Car Mechanic 2018. If you like what you saw, I want to go ahead and let me know if you'd like to see some more of Car Mechanic 2018. It's not necessarily a primary part of my uh, lineup on the on the channel, but I don't mind doing some more of it. It's a fun game. I really enjoyed the previous series, previous uh, the previous game itself. So it's always good to check out some more stuff. And this year, they have, this time they have the the junk car, which is kind of an interesting rendition as, or addition, I should say. So, anyways, my name is Ops, and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, want to go ahead and hit that subscribe button for some more simulator action. I'll catch you guys later.